Sloan. Yes. What do you be drinking there, laddie? Oh, that's a good question. Because I happened to be in Faithful, Arkansas yesterday. Mm -hmm. Beautiful fall day, went hiking. It was a beautiful day. And I found this lovely bottle of Irish single malt whiskey. What? In downtown Fayetteville that I've never seen before. It's called the Sexton. The Sexton single malt. And what I love about it, Grant Jenkins, is that A, it's got a little uh, skull with a hat on it, top hat on it. So, but here's the kicker for you, laddie. Up in the cold gray, northern reaches of County Antrim, where we've been several times. Oh yeah, beautiful. Many, many times. And I didn't even know this existed. So it's a single malt, it's a beautiful, beautiful taste because I did taste it ahead of time. Uh, let's try it. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Now we put some in uh, Laura's hot toddy because she's got a little bit of a cold. So we gave her a little wee taste. Smells wow. lovely. It's a beautiful bouquet. Uh, smooth as you would expect from an Irish whiskey, right? Really triple distilled, right? Um, and lovely. Check, check, check the bottle out. That okay, bottle's let's... going. I'm going to keep that yeah, baby. Let's, uh... But let's try it. Yeah, cheers. Slancha. The Sexton. It's pretty nice, right? It's got a little bit of that scotch single malt shot in the background, but it, it that aftertaste isn't that heartburn isn't there for me. That smooth. It reminds me of Bushmills. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. The Sexton. Uh, it, it's all about the crypt and everything, so it's kind of like this, you know, scary idea of Irish whiskey. Yeah, the sexton is uh, the person who keeps the keys to the cemetery, right? That's that, right. That, uh, you know, guards the crypts or whatever. Yeah. And uh, so it's perfect for this season. Coming I know. Up Halloween day. I, that's yeah. exactly what I thought yesterday when I bought it. I was like, oh, no, I have to get this. And I love the shape of the bottle. It's a little unwieldy to hold a little bit, but it's very much uh, in tune with what we're talking about with Halloween, Day of the Dead. I really am wondering if this isn't brewed in uh, Bushmills. It might be. Yeah, that's a good... Because you know what? I, I looked all around the bottle, and all I know is that it is from Ireland, mm -hmm. but it doesn't tell me where. And you know, we know from our tours of Bushmills that a lot of whiskeys get brewed and stored in different... Uh, distilleries before they go out. It's like McNulty says on the wire, that's Protestant whiskey. <laughs> we drink, hey, we're not sectarian. We drink it from Protestants, from Catholics, no. and from non-believers. The truth is that all distilleries and breweries in Ireland in the 18th and 19th centuries were owned by Protestants. Yeah, anyway, they, Catholics, Catholics weren't running the show. <laughs> they weren't owning it's distilleries. A false distinction. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, all right, Sloan, thank you. Yeah, cheers. This cheers. This is a really good this is a really good whiskey. Yeah, Irish whiskey. The Sexton from cheers. the Antrim Coast. You drunken uncle, you drunken uncle. You like to show 